some of you were here last year um, for uh, something that had similar uh, a gathering that we had that was really uh, similar in many ways into the topic area that we're talking about. It was featured around open government of open government, and what we found uh, in those conversations was a lot of disparate strategies, um, a lot of different small nascent initiatives going on. Um, not necessarily a lot of dialogue between people who are in that space. Um, we saw a lot of soft things come out of last year um, in terms of conversation that people had in the groups. Um, for example, you know, uh, the, a lot of the uh, White House work with GitHub came out of conversations with uh, Max and Macon from last year. Um, uh, so those things are important, but we also uh, really saw the opportunity to uh, begin to try to build a comprehensive identity around what the open government uh, work is. And so one of the things that we took away from last year is uh, we had the Night News Challenge um, on open government this last, uh, for the, the first one this year, first of two that we're having this year. And that was uh, featured, uh, focused on open government because a lot of the conversations that we had last year, and in fact, when we were reviewing a little bit of what came out of last year, we recognized that some of the News Challenge winners actually were addressing issues and problems that we discussed as a group last year. So we see that as a, um, a really positive thing. Um, why the Knight Foundation is intrigued and supporting uh, this area is that it hits across many of the things that Knight does. So Knight, uh, you know, our, our goal is to create informed and engaged communities. Um, the open government movement um, has a lot of things that hit across that. So from our community standpoint of engagement, it makes a lot of sense about lowering the barriers of entry to citizens. Um, for my program, from the journalism side, um, what's really vital about this is we know now that the number of working journalists in newspaper newsrooms is at 1978 levels. Um, there's $5 billion of payroll that's been taken out of newsrooms in the last five years. We're seeing the impact, especially at the state level in terms of coverage of, of government and, and, and the ability for anyone to have shoe leather to go in and pull data and build those databases or do um, investigative work and enterprise work. Um, in this space. So it moves from all the way from making sure that there's a watchdog component, um, that journalists, that there's data, free flow of data that journalists or active citizens can use, all the way to making it easier for you to um, make uh, manifest and have an impact on what's going on um, in government. So that's one of the reasons that we see the, the space is really exciting. It fits across a lot of the spectrum that what we're doing. Um, and also today we're announcing, um, the press release just went out, on uh, a grant uh, that's part of our portfolio around this to Project Madison. And Seamus Kraft is here with us from the Open Government Foundation. And Project Madison, <laughs> Project Madison is a, uh, we're excited about um, not only the content and what the approach, the, the content and the approach for, but also the way that Seamus is launching it. So Project Madison seeks to enable citizens to impact um, legislation as it's being crafted and created and allow representatives and uh, government representatives and citizens to interact around those around the legislature itself, around those laws actually being created. Um, the, the pilot, uh, the focus is, uh, this is one of the things I like about it a lot, is that we're focusing on Maryland. They've already done a lot of work with Maryland in, the, in terms of the code there, um, but also focusing on a, a municipal and state level about rolling this out to get people really active involved with it. So um, it follows a slate of different open government work that we've done uh, to the, for, so far this year. We're not only the News Challenge, but the NYU Government Lab, uh, a, a grant to the Sunlight Foundation, um, and obviously multiple grants that we have, small grants as well as um, uh, we, we launched another six um, uh, prototype grants as well out of this in terms of the, the space. <laughs> <laughs> Open guys. <laughs>